Summoning Jutsu! Hit it or quit it! Jeez, Kishimoto. I thought this was supposed to be a kid's show. What kind of advice is that? What in tarnation am I looking at here? Grow your whiskers back, dude. I love the victory music that I played as Naruto begins to celebrate. In fact, whenever I achieve my next major milestone in life, I'm definitely giving this a play. Here's an idea. How about you train, Sakura? You know, like Naruto and Sasuke have been doing for the past month. What's that? You'd rather sit in your room instead? I then. Wow, he did it! He won the fight! Mm -hmm. He's on the track to success. And he's kind of cute, too. Of course he's kind of cute. After he won. They probably thought Naruto resembled a gorilla biscuit before. <sighs> Naruto defeated Neji? Oh man, I can't believe it. And I thought Naruto was the same as me, one of the dorky uncool guys. Dorky and uncool? Now everyone's saying that he's going to make something big of himself. Shikamaru is the definition of friend goals. The way he left Shino on red without even acknowledging his existence shows how much he cares about him. Even a caged bird will smarten up and will be able to figure out how to open the door to its cage with its beak. Yeah! Man, Genma is really rubbing it in right now. You lose one match and now suddenly everyone starts 360 teabagging you. I get he's trying to teach Neji a life lesson, but the kid is literally paralyzed on the ground waiting for medical attention. Good news. No damage to your internal organs. Well, I'd hope not considering Neji got one tapped in the face. He did create a crater in the ground with his body, but we don't have to talk about that. Those injuries are never fatal in anime. I've got news for you, Neji. You're not the only special one around here. Why fight a hopeless battle trying to defy your destiny? Because you called me a loser. I'll show you I'm not. That's what Naruto should have said in the anime, since it's way more personal. Instead, Naruto said this. Because people called me a failure. I'll prove them wrong. Which is okay and all, but it doesn't hold up to the manga. Is it just me or does Yashi look off in this shot? There's no chest definition and his head looks weird. I'm sorry, but could you please step out for a moment? Well, we're not supposed to. Uh... It won't take long. Yes, of course. I don't mean to nitpick, except I do. I don't like how the medics in the anime question Hiyashi's request. It makes Hiyashi seem much less respected than he does in the manga. All he had to do in the manga is make the request and the medics left. No threatening or convincing necessary. There are so many lights on in this room and it's killing me. There's literally a window right there. All those lights are definitely not needed. What do you want with me? Holy smokes, man. The anime peeps are so rude in this episode. At least Neji sits up before addressing Hiyashi, but he gives him so much attitude. Maga Neji appears to bow his head more and addresses Hiyashi as sir. The anime handles Hiyashi's reveal better than the manga in my opinion. Instead of relying on talk no jutsuing Neji, Hiyashi hands Neji a scroll with his father's handwriting in it. He still uses talk no jutsu, but having the scroll backs up his claims while also making the scene more emotional, since Neji is able to share one last moment with his father. I'm willing to wager Neji held on to that scroll for the remainder of his days. The head cloud ninja from the land of lightning tried to abduct Hinata, but Lord Hiyashi killed the would-be kidnapper. Once again, completely unnecessary. Could I've literally just not did that. It cannot be helped. With my one life, the entire village can be saved. Saved? From what? The Cloud Village? Huh. How are they even a threat? You guys have the Hayuga, the Aburame, as well as the Uchiha clan. Oh wait, you killed those guys. I must admit, it was kind of smart of the Cloud Village to have a backup plan to obtain the Byakugan should anything go wrong. It would have worked too, except they had no way of knowing of Hizashi or the curse mark that's placed on him. What's wrong, Lord Hiyashi? You're usually so confident and determined. This is far too important for me to act recklessly. It's not that easy. Ah! Zayam, Hiyashi got clapped. The Byakugan is so overpowered, man. Hiyashi and Hizashi are supposed to rival each other in strength, but he got one tap so easily. That's the only real reason they had Yuga barely get any screen time. If they did, Kishimoto would have to go to great lengths to justify why the antagonists weren't getting one-tapped. 
Oh, and I'd like to know how useless Hiruzen is. Just look at him. He's like, grr, if only I, the Hokage, had some sort of authority in this whole situation. But... But you have Nechi. Why do you choose death? So you have chosen death. I ask you, please give Neji a message for me. Tell him that I wasn't killed to protect the head family, but rather to protect my siblings, family, and village. And by my own free will, I chose death and I chose my freedom. I'm sure glad Hiyashi immediately relayed that message to Tyler and Neji instead of letting hatred brew up inside of him over the years all over one misunderstanding. Wait, he did the opposite of that. What's even better is Neji is at most 50 to 100 meters away from Hizashi right now, so he could have literally just relayed that message himself. Holy smoly man! Hizashi doesn't make the top 10 worst anime dads list, but he could possibly be an honorary mention. What he did isn't that much better than Vegeta hugging his son for the first time, knocking him out, then committing on a lie. The resolution to Hiyashi's apology to Neji is better in the anime as well, at least in my opinion it is. Since the anime included the scroll, Neji really had no reason not to believe Hiyashi. This allows Neji to be saddened by his sudden revelation, versus angry. In the manga, Neji lashes out at Hiyashi since he didn't have any proof. Depending on how you like your storyboarding, you may like how the manga handled it better. Seeing Neji reject Hiyashi's claims only to come around once Hiyashi bows his head to him does make Hiyashi bowing more meaningful. If Hiyashi hadn't bowed, I doubt Neji would have believed him. In the anime, however, the bow is merely the cherry on top. Feels good to see Neji generally smiling for once. Having Neji remove his headband for this scene was genius since it further drives the point home that Neji no longer views himself as a prisoner. I guess you could say curse marks to that level have no effect on him. The only thing that could have made that scene better is if there was a Leaves from the Vine equivalent playing in the background. There's been no news of Sasuke yet, and there's the issue of Orochimaru. Please, before everyone starts to make trouble, disqualify Sasuke. Konoha, the best of the best, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not sure why Hiruzen thought they could locate Rochimaru, who's actively trying to hide, when they can't even locate Sasuke and Kakashi, who simply went on a retreat to a remote training location. Imagine if they were actually trying to hide. <sighs> what are we gonna do now? If he doesn't show up, our strategy is ruined. I thought the plan was to have Gaara explode into Shikaku in the middle of the arena and start rampaging on everyone. So how is the plan ruined? It's not like Sasuke is a prerequisite to Gaara transforming. Bonk Gaara upside the head to give him a jump start and get with the plan. Gaara was able to track Sasuke down once, so I'm sure Rochimaru and Kabuto could do the same fairly easily. <clears throat> could he have... Where are you Where going? Are you going? Gara. To your mama's house. Ha! Got him! It's obvious you're hiding there thirsting for blood. Save me the trouble and come out. I never took this at a suspenseful moment, so I really hope we weren't supposed to believe Kakashi got bodied by Gara. Lord Hokage, I ask you to consider waiting a little longer before disqualifying Sasuke Uchiha. If Hiruzen had a backbone and said, Nah, I'm good. He potentially would have averted a crisis. However, it's most unusual for you to insist so strongly, Lord Kazekage. To display the full strength of our village's ninja, no opponent but an Uchiha will do. This is a big chance for Sasuke, yes, but a big opportunity for us as well. Considering Orochimaru came up with that on the fly, his argument is really solid. If you remember back before the preliminaries, Hiruzen explained that getting favored through asserting dominance is a key way villagers guard our attention from potential suitors. Although, I'm quite confused how people expect Sasuke to one-up Naruto's display. Listen everyone, one of the competitors from the next battle has not arrived yet. Why is Genma being so ominous? Everyone knows the missing contender is Sasuke since he was one of the people who missed the opening ceremony. So cool! That means Sasuke is still in this! Yeah, Sakura doesn't like that at all. I'm not sure why they didn't show what she was thinking about, but that's irrelevant I guess. I'll do it myself. Sakura was hoping Sasuke wouldn't show up because she knows about the curse mark and how much strain it puts on him. She'd much rather he get DQ'd so his life isn't at risk. Proctor! I withdraw! Huh? 
What? <laughs> I withdraw, so please, advance to the next match. That was smart on Conqueror's part, but that was also very suspicious, yet Konoha is still so confused. Someone, get Konoha some milk, and while you're at it, get some for Shikamaru too. Me on the other hand, I don't need any milk. Instead, you can give me that HBO special. For those who aren't aware, that's the Help a Brother Out special. Hit the like and subscribe button so you can receive more over analyzing Naruto content. Y'all stay resolute out there. Deuces. Ninja Art and the Video Jitsu.